Well, this is it. The final stop of the City Skylines World Tour is upon us. This is the very, very last DLC and content creator packs for City Skylines, which have just been announced. The DLC is called Hotels and Retreats and is coming to PC and consoles 23rd of May 2023. Why don't we start off with a look at the announcement trailer and then we're going to take a deep dive into what we can discover uh, in the trailer and also look at the three new content creators packs which are Industrial Evolution, Railroads of Japan and Brooklyn and Queens. There is definitely some exciting stuff in there to look forward to so stick around for that and if you're new to my channel be sure to subscribe and turn on the notifications so you don't miss my video everything new in hotels and retreats and all the creator packs that will be coming out nearer to may the 23rd where we will be able to see every single item i go through it all that's released in all of those right let's dive in Our visitors come here for various reasons. Some come for business. Others to get away from business. Some visitors feel best in the arms of nature. Others want to experience the future. Some are low on funds. Others like to splash the cash. Whatever your perfect vacation is, in our city there is a home for everyone. So what do you think of the very last DLC for City Skylines 1, as we need to call it now? Drop a comment below if you've spotted anything in the trailer that you particularly found exciting. Um, so as we go through the details, I'm going to put some pictures on the screen as well, which are also available. So there may be some different things that you spot in there as well. So a little bit more information can be gleaned from the Steam pages. I will link those below in the description so you can check those out. But it says, spruce up your city with the finest hotelery with hotels and retreats. With everything from conference hotels for your business travelers. So that's one group of travelers. To mountain hotels for nature lovers. So that's two groups of tourists. It says, start with a small hotel chain and unlock more luxurious options as you make your way to a successful hotel business with a significant tourism boost for your city. So what can I glean from that? Well, it looks like there's different types of guests, tourists that we can have in our city. Two are mentioned. Uh, is there any more? Uh, a bit more information about that in a moment. It also looks like we can start small and unlock as we go along, as it says there. Unlock more luxurious options. So some sort of grading system, similar to what we've seen in universities and airports, where it gets bigger and better, whatever the the way that is uh, worked out and then we get extra stars perhaps and then we unlock other items um, but it also says a significant tourism boost for your city so more tourism equals more traffic question mark so then do we need better infrastructure so i, I love things like this that actually add good gameplay options to the game as well as interesting buildings to play so it, we need to put a bit more thought into our cities so looking forward to that also on the Steam page, it mentions uh, hotel buildings. So it mentions hostels, cabins, hotels, luxurious resorts. Uh, add a series of hotel buildings to your city on a range from budget to luxury. So maybe that's where the sort of leveling comes in. Uh, the hotel management. So one star hotels, unlock new options. Oh, there we go. So yeah, mentioned that star system again. So maybe that's what we're going to see. We're going to get revenue, which is good. Tourism buildings, so parks, restaurants, playgrounds, and cafes. So a lot more other items, not just hotel buildings by the looks of it. And then matching hotels with good locations will be paramount as you manage your hotel. So what is it do you think that's going to make a good location? Well, we mentioned before, didn't we, about the business travelers and mountain hotels for nature lovers. So it makes sense for me, a mountain hotel would go in the mountains, in nature. Uh, so maybe something there that we have to look at. So very good. And also five new maps. Three European-inspired maps, one tropical map, 
one temperate map. So new maps, that is always exciting as well. And then if we actually take a look at Colossal Orders uh, announcement page, it mentions on here in the second paragraph, I believe. Yes, hotels and retreats features a variety of new hotel buildings catering to four types of tourists visiting your city. So business, nature, what do you think the other two are going to be? Have you spotted something in the trailer? What do you think? Let me know in the comments below. So that is the DLC, Hotels and Retreats. What about a quick look at our content creator packs? Well, we've got Brooklyn and Queens, first of all. Now, this pack has been put together by Prosper. Again, I'm going to put some pictures on the screen as well. But a little bit of information about this. It's a set of medium-rise, high-density residential buildings and props for decorating the facade and rooftops. Very interesting. It includes more than 60, 60 global buildings and props, such as rental signs, window air conditioners, exhaust fans, stairways, and more. So imagine with the 60 global buildings, that'll be sort of different levels so i don't know three four five different levels so that'll be interesting to see how they look it looks like on the pictures that some of them do have a different sort of look about them so maybe that is when they level up i guess we'll find out in my everything new video when that comes out yeah and i'm very much liking the brooklyn and queens content creator pack great job so the second one we're going to have a look at is the railroad railroad if i could say that correctly of japan by Kamenogi. Again, we've got some pictures on the screen there of some of the items. And um, it says about this one, there's a whole list of things. Authentic Japanese railroad scenery. So we've got four railroad stations and two trains, six metro stations and a new train, one bus and a bus depot, four parks, two ploppable buildings, one unique building, one police station, 13 props and one decorative network and i think in one of the pictures it shows all the items put together with the metro and the train and all the rest of it and there is a fence that's down there so that will be the decorative network but some of these items are looking fantastic any new buildings like this and train stations anything to do with metro and trains we all love it don't we so yeah, it'll be very interesting to take a deeper dive in that one when it's available excellent and the last one is industrial evolution by samantha avania woods and what do we have in this one well the description says walk the path of history um from community creator samantha avania woods this pack includes a new set of global buildings that span different eras of industrial building styles from red brick walls to modern sleek industrial complexes we can see that as the pictures are going past we've got some of the brick looking buildings and then some of the lighter colored buildings uh, with the fancy roofs and everything so that's that's the more modern design isn't it and i love those slopes slope roofs on there they look fantastic so there is actually 34 historic brick factories with tall smokestacks then there's 18 modern light industrial buildings and then 18 contemporary modern industrial buildings so whether that's going to be so that's 70 uh, generic industry buildings uh, all together so and a district style and a building style yes excellent just reading through and a building style as well so for those that aren't playing with mods that's going to be fantastic for our industry areas so whether they sort of level up and change as they go along which i imagine that's probably how that's going to work um, that is just going to look beautiful but again absolutely loving those buildings what do you think about those let me know below we've also got two radio stations 90s pop radio with over an hour of music and also piano tunes radio with over an hour of music as well so if radio stations are your thing then there we go we've got those to look forward to so which of those are you looking forward to most and also i'm assuming there's going to be like a free update with some stuff we've had free updates with additional items for the last few dlcs and updates on this world tour what do you think that might include has there been any hints about that that i've missed i don't think so but you know let me know in the comments what you think that might include and be sure to check out this next video on the screen as well thank you very much for watching have a great day take care everybody Bye bye